up a pineapple is a lot easier than you think. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to cut up a whole pineapple. And I think that cutting up a pineapple can be a little intimidating for a lot of people. I know it was for me before I learned how to do it. And I think that it has to do with the fact that they're kind of like spiky and pointy. And also they're just not like anything else that most of us are eating on a regular basis. But the thing is that cutting up a pineapple is actually really easy and you can totally do it yourself. And I think pineapple is especially wonderful during the summer months because it's just great for all of your cookouts and barbecues and parties and get-togethers. Everyone loves pineapple. It's super delicious, but it also kind of satisfies that craving we have in the warmer months for those watery, cooling types of foods. And pineapple definitely fits in that category. So to get started, the first thing we need is a knife with a serrated edge. And the reason we need this is because we're gonna be doing like a sawing action when we're cutting up the pineapple. So we need that serrated edge on the knife to help us do that. So once you've got your pineapple and your knife, then we need to cut the pineapple so that it's a little bit easier of a shape to work with. First, you're gonna lay the pineapple down on its side, get your knife, and you're gonna cut off the top of the pineapple. And you wanna cut it so that you have a nice, flat surface. And you wanna make sure that you cut really close to the top of the pineapple because we want to waste as little pineapple as possible. Once you've got the top cut off, then we're gonna move on and do the same thing on the bottom. And again, the point here is to just get a nice flat surface. So you wanna make sure you're cutting as close to the bottom as possible so we're not wasting any of the pineapple. Now that you've got the top and the bottom of the pineapple cut off, you can take it and stand it back up on its end so it's straight up and down. And now we're gonna cut off the skin of the pineapple. So make sure that you're holding your pineapple nice and steady and then run your knife from top to bottom using a sawing motion down the side of the pineapple to cut off the skin. And make sure that you're cutting as close to the skin as possible when you do this because again, we want to waste as little pineapple as possible. Once you've worked your way all around the pineapple and cut off all the skin, you're probably gonna see these little black pieces of peel left and they're kind of like little pits and that's just because of the way the pineapple skin works. It kind of has these little indentations and usually if you're cutting off the skin as close to the skin as possible, some of those get left behind. Wherever you see those little bits of skin left over, you just wanna go around and take a very thin slice off the pineapple to remove them. Now the little slices that you cut off in this process usually end up being mostly pineapple with just a little bit of skin in there. So you could just toss them in your compost or throw them away, but I like to think of them as like little extra special treats for whoever is cutting up the pineapple. Uh, because it's one of those things where like, you wouldn't necessarily wanna serve that to your guests, like the pineapple with those little bits of skin in there, but for you just like cutting it up or whatever, it's totally edible. You can just eat around the little bits of skin. So they're kind of like a little snack that I like to have once I'm done cutting up the pineapple. You can do whatever you want. You don't have to eat them, but I just wanted you to know that you can nibble on them if you want. Once you've got your pineapple all cleaned up and there aren't any little bits of skin left over, now we're gonna quarter it. So you just take your knife, put it on top of the pineapple, slice it down the middle into half, and then cut those pieces in half again so you have four pieces total. Now it's time to remove the core. And the core is really woody. It's not really good to eat. So we wanna get it out of there. So if you look down at your pieces of pineapple from the top, you can kind of see the edge where the core ends and the good to eat part begins. And that's where we're gonna wanna put our knife and slice. Put that piece of pineapple on its end and just cut from top to bottom to remove that piece of core. And then you just repeat that same process with the other three pieces of pineapple. Now at this point, you can really cut the pineapple however you like, whatever size you want. But the way that I usually do it is I usually take those four pieces and then I cut them in half lengthwise again. So now I've cut the pineapple into eighths. And then I cut those pieces across so I end up with these little triangular shapes of pineapple. And you can make it as thick or thin as you want, but 
but I think that this size and shape is the perfect size for a piece of pineapple. So that's how you cut up a pineapple. I hope you like this video and let me know in the comments, are there any other foods that you don't know how to cut up or that are a real struggle for you? And if you are new to my channel and you want more healthy eating tips and nutrition info and healthy recipes and all of that fun stuff, then make sure that you subscribe because eating healthy and living a healthy lifestyle really doesn't have to be complicated and I want to help you do it. Thanks for watching. I hope you're having a great day 